All right, this is for Zaley Mabel. Um, and I need to apologize for the interruptions. My cat is uh, sick, so she's coughing in the background. Okay, so looking at your stuff here, the first thing is if you're doing light and color, this is a study on light and color. One of the things that you want to really pay attention to is how your light and color are, are being focused. Right now, if you look at the histogram, uh, I think, no, not that one. Uh, I don't think I have that up. So if you look at the histogram here, um, the histogram has got basically very central localized color. Everything's very mid-tone values. There's no real darks. There's no real lights. All right. And so with that is in the case of that, the, the problem that you have is, is everything's blending out. So if you want light and color, you need to focus on working on shadow as well. Um, you know, light is, is kind of, you know, brings out the color and shadow will recede the color. So what we're going to do here is we are just going to go here in the brush and I'm going to pick your uh, initial skin tone, which is you've got a variance between here and here. So there's really no variance in skin tone. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her kind of facing towards a light. And then we're going to do some room light here on the, on the, sh on the, uh, the backside. So I'm going to pick, um, we're going to pick this dark red color and I'm going to do a multiply in this particular layer. And we're just going to do a soft brush. Um, and so you can see instinctively, as I start painting this this uh, tone here, um, even though it's the same tonal value, it's coming a lot darker. Now, I'm gonna go back and do a normal brush and so you can see it's blurred out like this. And I'm gonna do uh, an adjustment on hue and saturation. And we're gonna change that color to kind of a blue. And I'm gonna pick kind of a tonal value blue that the hair is. So if we go back into multiply, do you see how that pops it out quite a bit? Now, we don't need it that dark, but that blue adds coolness to your shadow. So all I'm going to do is, oops, I don't need the red in there. Let's go back and grab some of that blue. Come on here. There we go. Grab that blue, and we're going to multiply that. Okay, so now we add this, this multiply here. Right. We're going to just give her a little bit of nose shadow, and we're just going to blend some of that out, and we're going to give her a little shadow underneath the lips um, and under under here, and we're going to pop some of this out like so, um, so so on and so forth, maybe even a little bit in here, and then probably some behind the mouth or behind the hair here, <clears throat> okay, like so. And what that's going to do is that's going to accent the colors a little bit more. And then I think I'm going to do a little bit up here, and we're going to do some back over here. So do you see how that that's bringing out a lot more form and value from your initial uh, initial drawing? Now, the next thing that you want to do is, and we're just going to do a new layer here, and I'm going to do a screen on there. And I'm going to pick, um, so you've got red and blue. Let's go tertiary and pick up a yellow here. <clears throat> and so with this, we're going to add some of this highlight here. And it's just going to be a light highlight. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit, kind of, kind of bring out the nose a little bit. And so do you see how that those highlights now are bringing out the nose and bringing out the, the lips in, in force? And it's probably a little bit over here. So that highlight now adds a little bit more to it. And then what we can do is we can also go in and we're going to grab some of this color here. And I'm just going to really quickly kind of add this rim light on here. Something like this, just kind of bright, flowing. And we're just going to do a little bit of eraser to clean that up. Here, again, bright, flowy, maybe even like so, and something like this, and something like that. So by adding that, 
by adding that rim light on there, and we'll just uh, clean up this here. What you're doing is you're adding in a lot more shape and form. So if we flatten these two layers here um, to one, you can see basically yours very flat toned, mine, and even though mine is garishly like really super high shadows, really super low, uh, super high shadows, super dark, it still adds more form. I see more of the face going on. And that's essentially what you want to try and do is build up that aspect of your image. You want to get that bright and you want to get that dark in there as well. And that's going to show more form and give you your values that you're looking for. All right. I hope that helps.